All right, as we always do here on the 49ers Report, we give you guys a preview of the upcoming game. So, as you know, in case you're living underneath the rock, 49ers have Sunday Night Football home against the Los Angeles Rams. What's the line, Thomas? Well, I'm glad you asked. The 49ers are four-point underdogs, and your over-under currently sits at 51 and a half. So they're expecting points, but Vegas is expecting the Rams to go ahead and win. So we'll start by asking you guys, who do you have winning this football game? Let me know in the comment section down below. Type SF for San Francisco. Type LA for the LA Rams. Now, I want you to be unbiased. I'm going to give my prediction at the end of this segment, but I want to hear what you guys are thinking. Are you nervous and you're saying, I hope the 49ers, or are you confident saying, guess what? Niners are going to blow them out. I hope it's the second one, but we'll see what happens. If it is the second one, put your money where your mouth is right now and bet on San Francisco with our friends at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com forward slash 49 bet and go ahead and place your deposit down. And when you do that, use our promo code Niners, uh, sorry, Niners125. You get a 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. Meaning, basically, you put it in plain English, you put 100 bucks down, use our promo code, it, they turn it into $225 for you guys to go ahead and bet on the 49ers. And if they win, what are they just looking right now? If they win, you're going to win a lot of money because that line right now sits in favor of the LA Rams, which again, Vegas knows what they're talking about. They know how to set these betting lines. And honestly, I kind of agree with them right now that a lot of people are going to pick the Rams. And does that mean I'm going to pick the uh, Rams? I don't know. We'll wait and see. But it's a good chance for Niner fans to not only get back in Vegas, but get back at those pesky LA Ram fans who are super annoying and bet on the 49ers, win some money, and then rub it in their face. Like, guess what? You guys lost, and I won some money by betting on them. Chessports.com forward slash four nine bet. All right, as we mentioned earlier, here are the latest injury updates for both teams, starting with San Francisco. Again, the good news is Garoppolo and Mosley and Drake Greenlaw were all full participants yesterday. They are all looking like they're going to go ahead and play and start. And the Mosley one is big there in the secondary. Dundee Johnson probably out, and we know Quan Alexander is out as well. Here are your Ram no notable injuries. Not a lot. So Okoronkwo did not participate, but he most likely is going to play on Sunday. You might see Aaron Donald on there and say, oh, is, is Donald out? No, it's kind of a rest day, non-injury injury re related. Him and Andrew Whitworth are going to be just fine. They're going to play. Micah Kaiser is, was limited, and so was Bobby Evans. Both of them are going to play as well. So really, the Rams are one of the healthiest teams in the NFL right now. They have avoided injury, and I don't want to jinx them. I don't want anyone to get injured, but it's been impressive. The Rams have been one of the most healthy teams in the NFL, so hats off to them. But the only questionable guy here is Okoronkwo, but I think he's going to go ahead and play on Sunday. It could always change, but right now it's steering that way. Before we keep going, make sure you guys subscribe. You see how close we are to 6,000 subs? Oh, sorry, 30,000 subs. Oh, six, that was like three months ago. 30,000 subs. 29,349 total subs here on the 49ers report, and you can help us get to 30K. I really want it. I mean, 30K would be cool, right? I remember we got to 15, then we got to 20, and I was like, man, that's 25, and now we're at 30. So go ahead and hit that bigger subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate you guys helping us out. Here are your Niner current offensive stats as we go through week five. And it's getting a little worse, and obviously a loss in a blowout fashion to the Miami Dolphins is not going to help out right now. I wish that they could run the ball a little bit better. I know they have 129 yards and 10, you might say. Thomas, that's pretty good. This is a team that was fourth best in the NFL last year in rushing, and it showed week in and week out because they were able to force teams to load the box to defend the run, play action, roll Jimmy Garoppolo outside, and find Debo Samuel. I want that 49er offense to be back. So it's it's been a mediocre 49er offense, but maybe they get back to track on Sunday. They have their work cut out for them, though, because, man, the L.A. Rams, whoo, look at this, third in points per game. Fourth in total yards per game, second in passing yards, ninth in rushing yards, and their first in sacks with 20. They have been unreal. Now, we know that they're unreal because they have great players, but they have been better than what a lot of people expected, even for LA Rams fans. And this is a top five, probably a top three defense in the NFL. And so, great. Jimmy Garoppolo, most important hunter offense, been struggling. Well, guess what? It just gets harder with the first, with a, sorry, the second divisional game, this one here against the LA Rams. Over under point total for the Niners against the Rams. Is it over 23 and a half? or under 23 and a half, type O for over, type U for under. I hope it's over, but I'm picking the under right now in this football game. Again, my score prediction coming up here in about five minutes. I'm going with the under here because, again, just show you the defensive stats, they have been incredible for the L.A. Rams, and so I think it'll be the under, but let me know what you guys think. Jared Goff's been great. This year, Jared Goff, remember, former number one draft pick, gets all this hype, he goes to the Super Bowl. Then last year gets a lot of hate because they struggled. He's been good this year. Look at the completion percentage. That's what matters in the Jared Goff, Kyle, or, um, sorry, not the Kyle Shanahan offense, the Jared Goff, Sean McVay offense. They want the completion percentage to go up. A big key factor in this, 
Cooper Cup is back and healthy. He was always a problem in, uh, in, in LA the past couple of seasons, but now that him and Robert Woods are rocking and rolling, they have been really, really good. And also, you see there, wide receiver three, Van Jefferson, the rookie out of Florida, he's been really good. He was a big fan on hard, a uh, big fan of hard knocks watchers and a big fan of them in training camp. He's been great. So the Niners secondary has their work cut out for them, which you know is kind of a good thing this week because Emmanuel Mosley is back there, probably starting at the cornerback number two spot. But with that being said, you still have a secondary that has struggled all year long. Jason Barrett been hot and cold. Hart and Ward have been more bad than good they have their work cut out for them they need to get better and this is a tough week to go ahead and go up against an offense that has been humming and rolling but a good a, a, a good test right to be the best you want to go ahead and beat the best and so this is a chance for Mosley and Barrett to kind of show what that defense can do even though they've been unable to do it the past couple of weeks you go back to the Dolphin game you see the 49er pass defense coming down a little bit here in terms of uh, the total passing yards even though they sit at third, we know this passing defense has not been as good as our numbers have shown because really the 46 points weren't just all through the year for Ryan Fitzpatrick last week. So with that being said, hopefully this defense can continue to trend upward and play better than what we saw on the field against Miami and transition into a win. And why do they need a win? The standings. Look at these standings. My goodness. Who would have thought after five weeks San Francisco would be last? Raise your hand if you thought this. I didn't at all. I mean, I knew Seattle was going to be good. Uh, the Cardinals being three and two was right about correct for what their skill players have. I just didn't expect the Niners to be the, to be to be struggling this much. So hopefully they get a win because if they do, then they become three and three. The Four Niners become four and two, and maybe you know, Seattle can lose on Sunday. You know, we can hope, right? We can hope Seattle loses on Sunday. We'll see what happens. But right now, the standings are getting a little bit out of control. And so hopefully San Francisco can get a win, just kind of get things back on track. It's obviously not over, but you got to start winning, especially since the Rams, Seahawks, and Cardinals have all been very good so far through five weeks. Give me your score prediction. It's that time of the week. Your official score prediction for Sunday night against the Rams is what? I want the actual winner, and I want the numbers, the actual score down below in the comments section. You want my score? Well, here it is. See it on your screen right now. It's 49ers, 20 Rams 17. Yes, I know. Even though I just talked about how great the Rams have been this year and how great their defense is and how you know, terrible the 49er offense has been, I'm still going with the Niners. This is the last week, though. I pick the Niners every single week, and they keep losing. If they lose this week, next week, I'm taking whoever they're playing, and I'm blanking on who they play next week. It's a, I think it's the Patriots, maybe, to the Patriots or the Seahawks. Either way, I will not pick them if they lose this game. Last week in doing it. Now, if they win, different story. 49ers 20, Rams 17. Low scoring, Jimmy Garoppolo, Raheem Mostert, Kyle Shanahan schemed their way to a field goal victory. Hopefully they are able to go ahead and do that.